Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. I'm going to start this project off with this a piece of scrap wood that I had. And it's already been stained. I was going to use it for another project, but I didn't get around to it. So I'm just going to take some white paint and I'm going to run it along the bottom. And I'm just doing this lightly. It doesn't have to be a perfect coat, just kind of dry brushing it on there. And then I kind of wiped off some of the excess. I don't want it to be too bright. Once I had that all done, I'm going to take this window cling and I got these at Dollar Tree or Dollar General a while, a couple of years ago. And I'm going to take some Mod Podge. I'm going to use this truck that says Merry Christmas under it. And I'm going to put that Mod Podge right in the center here. And then I am going to lay that window cling right over it. So I'm just going to put a good coat of it here. And just kind of where I want the whole window cling. And then I'm going to add some also to the back of the window cling just to make sure that I'm not missing any spots on the wood where it should be. And I just really want this to stay on, you know, forever. So once I have that all on there, I'm going to lay that down right on top of that white snow. I'm going to smooth that out with my hands. And then if there was any spots that I missed, I'll just peel up and add some more Mod Podge to it. And now I'm just going to run a quick coat over the top of it. And I'm not doing the whole board, just right over and the edges of the window cling. I just really want to make sure that this doesn't come off. And then I'm going to take some of this Glamour Dust. I know that they don't sell it anymore, but you could use... Um, sparkle Mod Podge or something equivalent like Enchanted Shimmer and I'm just going to put a little on the bottom on the snow that I added and Glamour Dust Enchanted Shimmer is all basically sparkly Mod Podge it's a paint or a clear coat with glitter in it once I had everything all on there I'm going to take another paint brush and just it was like a hard bristled brush and I'm just going to splatter some white paint all the way around the background. I went right over the window cling. I'm just gonna keep adding paint and make it look like a very snowy background. And just keep splattering it on there. And then I wanted some bigger pieces uh, of like snowflakes. So I took the paintbrush, dipped it in paint and then used my hand to like bang it off my finger. And those got me the bigger drops. Then once I had that all in there, I'm just gonna let that all fully dry. And then I'm going to take this pine cone that I had, and it already had a little bit of white like snow on it, but it was kind of dulled out, so I'm going to add a little bit of my own. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white to that. Then I'm going to take this pick that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I kind of just bent it in half so that, you know, it was going more than one direction, so it was going to either side. And I'm going to lay that on the top, and I'm going to hot glue that into place. So I'm just going to take a large amount of hot glue, and then I'm going to put that on and then hold it until it sets. I want this to stick really well. If you have the ability, you could staple gun it onto the top, which is what I wish I did because it probably would have been easier and I wouldn't have had to wait for it to dry. So I'm going to hold that till it's set. And then I made this like rustic, messy bow. I just took some ribbons, cut them down to size, ones that match kind of the browns and the greens and the red from the truck. And then I just tied them off in the center. Nothing fancy at all. And I did like a little piece of burlap in there, two different color burlaps. And you can do whatever kind of bow you want. I'm going to glue that right in the center of the pick. Once that was held on, I'm going to take that pine cone. And as you can see, I'm using a blow dryer just to help glue the glue dry. And then I'm going to glue that pine cone right in the center. And again, holding that and letting that set. And that is it. This project is finished. I think this turned out amazing. I love the rustic look of it. And you could do this with any piece of wood, any window cling, anything you have on hand. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to make one. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.